Let go of the hop. Stop watch review. Start the review. Don't give me that look. The Hob in recent months has quickly risen to the near top of my favorite movies of all time list, right next to Scott Pilgrim and Kick-Ass. Martin Freeman is simply the shit, and The Hobbit was always an awesome read when I was a kid. As a gamer, what disappointed me was the lack of a video game that came out for the movie. The Lord of the Rings movies all got pretty awesome video games, so I kinda figured they'd keep the streak going with The Hobbit. Sadly, this wasn't the case. But seeing as how I'm a huge fan of LEGO games, LEGO The Hobbit may be great enough to fill the void. LEGO Hobbit covers the first two movies of the trilogy as Bilbo and the Band of Dwarves travel to the Lonely Mountain to retrieve the Arkenstone. As far as following the story goes, LEGO Hobbit delivers by cleverly integrating plot-crucial moments into cool gameplay segments. The gameplay is just fine overall, but how does it compare to other LEGO games? It's incredibly mediocre. The thing that drags LEGO Hobbit down the most is the cast of characters you play as. There are simply way too many dwarves to switch between when traversing levels, and all of them have very specific attributes and weapons that you must use correctly to progress. Simply memorizing each of them, let alone switching between them properly, is incredibly annoying and was something I couldn't fully do until 65-70% way through the game. If it takes that long to learn how to use my characters, you are no longer having fun and it is officially a chore. All the levels also continue to pad themselves by having these building segments which I only found fun during co-op because it turns competitive. Alone, it's a pretty dull experience. This game definitely has some right doings though. LEGO Hobbit's presentation is gorgeous, the combat system is fun to watch and play, and has a pretty solid, albeit confusing, open world when outside mission. As much as I love the movies and LEGO games in general, this is easily the weakest and tiresome installment in the LEGO series I've played to date. Though it's easy to say that I did still have a pretty fun time, considering it was my second game I've owned on my PS4 so far. LEGO The Hobbit? It's a 5.9 out of 10. Lego the Hobbit. It gets a Lego game out of a Lego game. Reality! <laughs>